So here it says, no blood on his hand. So here you see the hand of Donald Trump just the very moment after he had been allegedly shot. So the hand is just coming from his ear. And there's no blood. So on July 13th, 2024, 35 miles north of Pittsburgh, America, there was no blood on Donald Trump's hand. The blood suddenly appeared after having been hidden away from sight for a while under the table, like a poor magician's show. So here, one movement even further. The guy is still having his mouth open all the time here. So his head moving from his head to here. And here it says, you see, there's still no blood. There is no blood on his hand. You can all see it. Then, taking an epic Hollywood pose with the US flag, of course, and obviously beforehand knowing that there never have been multiple shooters, and so did the agents. Now, and here it says, the theatrical inconsistency of an all-revealing unprofessionalism. Look at his hand. First of all, there's only three fingers here instead of four, and there's still no blood on his hand. Now, I will let you watch the first slow mo, that means slow motion sequence in silence, the deafening silence. So here you can see it one more time. So now he's going to move his head. Look how look look his mouth. You know he knows there's something going on. You know he's like squeezing his mouth. Now his, his hand is going there. There's no blood, people. There's no blood. You know the dumb slaves. They all believe it. Yeah, look, look at his mouth, how he's, how he's going to squeeze his mouth, like, oh, I'm preparing for something. Oh, oh, oh okay, like, oh, oh, I have to do it now. This is the thing. Look, look at his mouth, like, mmm, okay, here it comes. Mmm, this is what I have to do. Mmm. Look, and now he does it again. Yeah, no, he did it. Oh, and look, there's no blood. No. Like somebody concentrating, like a sportsman or like, hmm. You know. Here it says World War I injuries due to high velocity rifles like 303 British or 792 Mauser caliber. In the army, I participated in multiple military campaigns, seeing friend and foe being hit by high velocity bullets and i can tell you that a caliber 223 would have ripped trump's ear off due to the cavity following the trajectory about which trump's special effects hollywood crew have no notion of thinking they can sell their fantasy story by presenting it as if a needle had been stuck through someone's ear, probably by witnessing the ear piercing of their own daughter. Big error in calculation by those who have no clue about ballistics. Only very few professionals got the knowledge of a ballistical cavity making the actual hole and not the bullet itself. 
So they imagined the hole having the width of the diameter of the bullet, like slowly piercing an ear with a needle to hang an earring onto it. So this is called the permanent cavity here. This is di the uh, diameter of the bullet, like um, the caliber 223 in this case. And this is the um, temporary cavity, you know, because of the enormous high speed, you know, it blows up here and there's a pressure wave. So this is why, you know, if, if you see the, um, the injuries of President Kennedy, JFK, you know, the back of his head is gone. You know, you've got the bullet in front and there are pictures of it. And uh, with these high calibers, you know, it, it blows everything up, really. At three times the speed of sound of an assault rifle's bullet at 900 meters per second is like the supersonic boom of a fighter jet breaking the sound barrier, which is an authentic picture here to the right of the jet. And to the left, you can see the bullet. A fighter jet can generally speed up to twice the speed of sound, and an assault rifle bullet three times the speed of sound. The speed of sound is 330 meters per second, or 1,000 kilometers an hour. So if you imagine the airplane here being the bullet, you can all imagine the cavity behind it influencing the size of the hole it would make and make a hole 10 times as big as the size of the airplane or bullet itself. So here you see the supersonic boom and the air being pushed away, you know, like an explosion. And it's, it makes the sound of an explosion. It says boom, the supersonic boom. And here you see a high velocity bullet of a rifle. And it, it's exactly the same thing here upon entry. I think this must be the, um, the substance or the body or gel entering here. And you see the same thing here of the bullet as here, you know, the supersonic boom uh, of an airplane. And these are authentical. Uh, pictures. The apparent special effects crew only recognized the permanent cavity, which is the diameter of the piercing needle or the caliber of the bullet, making the mistake of ignoring the stretch cavity due to the enormous velocity of the bullet. And then there is even a third ballistical law of physics called the shock wave, which a high speed bullet can give to the blood that sends a tsunami through the blood, leading to heart failure, cerebral trauma, also called brain stroke, or other internal damage. So here in blue, here it says, it's the indirect damage, like this here, the, uh, the cavity, called the stretch cavity. And here the direct damage, which is diameter of the bullet. And here is the shock wave, like a tsunami sending into the blood, going all the way to the heart or the brain or any other parts. It's the same mistake they made here when I explained to you the impossible aeronautics due to flutter. The censorship has taken this video off already two times, so I can't pronounce certain words, but you can watch it on this free speech platform. Oh boy, all the mistakes they make. You can watch that video I just explained with the airplane and the flutter 
here on the brighton.com video platform and here is the logo of the channel here it is and by the way even brighton they won't let me upload any more videos so here on brighton there's this video here's the title uh, look at this number here i cannot pronounce it and it got deleted this video here too deleted there are quite a lot of videos that got deleted on youtube that i managed to save and uh, put here most of them i haven't been able to save them so this is something you must do save my videos and uh, download them upload them in everywhere um, because me as a homeless i cannot do this so this is the same mistake they made as with the uh, the no blood assassination attempt in Butler. The cavity created by a high velocity bullet can also be compared to the wake of a boat of the water pushed away. As you can see here to the right side, there's the water being pushed away. It's called the wake. And here is with a high speed camera after impact you see the same wake it looks like a boat you know of a high speed bullet it's the same physics and there is the yaw which is the deflection of the bullet after the impact and make it tumble which also makes that picture of the bullet after impact on Trump's ear, impossible. So here it says the yaw. Uh, well, this is a 762 NATO with 308, but it's um, it's the same ballistics. So here you see the tumbling and the yaw making an even bigger permanent permanent cavity, and also a bigger temporary cavity. So here to the left, it says Trump Golf, and this is the official logo, you know, and why is it a coat of arms? <laughs> you know, because it's the nobility from Trump's mother's side, it's uh, the Scottish side, it's the uh, nobility, and he's related to the Queen of Denmark and the, and the King of Norway. So that's why it says here Maga which in fact it means make aristocracy golf again and have the dumb slaves pay for it. Well, I don't know about you, but it doesn't look like they are discussing golf here. And let me remind you that the golf place or the golf court, as they say, is a traditional place for the elite and the nobility to conspire against the people. So MAGA, make aristocracy golf again for free here you can see make aristocracy golf again which is the real maga while donny is pretending to defend the cause of the average american let's call it ggg for greedy golf globalism and here you can see, you know, uh, on top here, you can see the uh, the coat of arms. This guy here, Bryson Duchambeau, it's nobility, Duchambeau, you know, like the German von. I don't know who that is. And you see all over the world, Scotland, Ireland, all over Dubai, all over America, Carolina, New Jersey. Washington, of course, the capital for some more conspiracies in the capital on, on the golf court. Oman, Indonesia. This is GGG for greedy golf globalism of the masters. So it's not only the fact that there was no blood on Donnie's hands with a 223 cal that would have ripped his ear off. But the whole event is full of inconsistencies, which I won't discuss all.
But there are many things no one talks about, like this picture here of the bullet, or the alleged bullet, which is impossible without a high-speed camera. Plus, the bullet is flying much lower than where his ear is. So here you see the bullet, the alleged bullet flying. But you see, this picture has been shot from below. You know, if this person, you know, the uh, journalist who took the picture, you know, if the camera would be at the same level as Trump's head, then the line of this alleged bullet would even come low, much lower. And even now, it's below the ear. But, you know, imagine moving up the camera. You know, it would come like here, you know, way below his head. So here it says, impossible catch without a high-speed camera and flying below the air. Then the alleged shooter came out of Pittsburgh, living in its Battle Park suburb. And also Butler, where the shooting happened, is only 30 miles away from Pittsburgh. So here you can see Pittsburgh. Here's Bethel Park, where the sh alleged shooter came from. And here is Butler, where it happened. So it all happened in the same area, everything, which is also like a, an inconsistency. Pittsburgh was founded by the Swissies, which you can see here on the website Swiss Americans, where there's a lot of information. So actually, this is not an inconsistency, it's more like a consistency. It's like a constant element coming back, you know. So um, here you can see it. Communities settled by Swiss immigrants, and here's Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And there are, in the state of Pennsylvania, um, there are, Smith American, ah, oh, here, Pennsylvania, there are almost 100,000 uh, Swissies living in Pennsylvania, and probably more. Uh, so it's on the website Swiss Americans. Also, Trump's father's bloodline comes from the Swiss Palatines in Germany, from the town of Kallstadt. Here you see, this is the um, the grand, the paternal grandfather of Donald Trump from Kallstadt in Germany. This is the Palatines. It's um, on the Rhine. And the Rhine is going to Switzerland. So it's the consistency, again, which makes it a inconsistency of so many consistencies, if you understand what I mean. And by the way, here you see the, uh, the Donald Trump uh, website on Wikipedia, which has been completely wiped clean. Here, early life. You know, there's nothing anymore you know, about where he comes from and family. It's all been wiped clean, you know. Uh, it's it really, you know, it's it's a very long website, but this part, where he comes from, is completely wiped clean. Somebody, some powerful person, doesn't want you to know where he comes from about his uh, genealogy. Hey, it's uh, again the. Um, it reminds me of the um, of the Swiss laws of silence. Pittsburgh has the word pit for the abyss or hell, and Burg is German or Swiss German in this case, meaning a castle. So, Pittsburgh means the castle from hell. And let me remind you that there are almost 100,000 Swissies in Pennsylvania, 
the state where Pittsburgh lies and where the alleged assassination attack without blood happened. So here it says Pittsburgh, castle from hell. You must always watch the words carefully because it has a lot of information in words and names, a lot of historical and uh, hide it, uh, hid uh, information. So the pit, it's another word for the abyss or hell. And the German word Burg, it means a castle. So it really says the castle from hell, Pittsburgh. And I wonder what else is there to discover in the town of Pittsburgh. Probably a lot. Then the Secret Service Director Kimberly Chetel is from Hinsdale, Illinois, one of the wealthiest towns in the US, and with more than 40,000 Swissies in Illinois. Well, let's call her the Cheat, which is a lot easier and a perfect nickname. Next to Hinsdale, where Cheetel was born, and only 10 miles down the road lies Naperville, which was founded by the Swissies. So, of course, Hinsdale, where Kimberly Chetel was born, has many Swissies living there, which makes it very likely Kimberly Chetel, the head of the US Secret Service, being a Swissy with the Swissies always going for all key positions, and the Swiss laws of silence surrounding Kimberly Chetel, with nothing known about her, if she's married, having children, nothing. It is always the Swiss invisible finger print all over it. So here it says, the cheat, very good nickname. The cheat, very secret and no service, you know, secret service. That means very secret and no service. Here it says the US financial elite in Hinsdale. This, these are their customs there, you know. Very rich, the, the wealthiest places, you know, in the US where the elite are from. So here you can read about Kimberly Chetel. And it's always very important. Where are they from? Who are the parents? Well, most of it is it's wiped off. There's nothing, you know. But at least we can find here. Um, she was born in Hinsdale, Illinois. And here it says even, Illinois is one of the wealthiest communities of Illinois and of the U.S. So that's where she is from, Hinsdale the elite of the US. So in this case, this means, you know, she's of the same elite as uh, Donald Trump. It's both the elite. You know, they're the same ones, you know, same group. Look, to have an idea, here I punched in villas in Hinsdale. Look at it. Here's Hinsdale, Hinsdale, here Hinsdale. Look at this one here and this one. It's all Hinsdale. This, this this is the type of place where the the director, the very secret director, without any service at all to the people, where she was from or where she is from. Yeah, look at it. It says Hinsdale, Illinois, swimming pool and everything. That, 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 these are castles. You know, Hinsdale here. You know, this is the same group as Mr. Trump himself. So were they like, was he conspiring against him or was she conspiring with him? You know, and I'm going to tell you some more about this. Yeah, look at Hinsdale, Hinsdale. It's all Hinsdale. It's, it's only these kind of houses are apparently over there. So this is this is Cheetel, you know, and there's nothing known about her, you know, about the only that she's from Hinsdale. 
That's about the only thing I could find. It's all Swiss laws of silence all over. So again, Swiss Americans, Swissies living in America, and there are one million officially, and probably a lot more. So here, Illinois, there's almost almost 50,000 in Illinois. And here, here's Naperville, Illinois, which is 10 kilometers, or 10 miles, I think it was, from Hinsdale. Well, of course, Hinsdale is also full of Swissies. Right? They didn't stay only in Naperville. Eh? It's only 10 miles. So, and this is what she has in common as well with uh, Trump being a Swissie from his father's side, from Karlstadt, Germany of the Swiss Palatines. It, it has the Swiss fingerprint all over, just as... Um, you know, the president, Herbert Hoover from Switzerland, the director of the FBI, J. Edgar Hoover, the first director of the CIA, Alan Dulles um, from Swiss, and um, also uh, President Eisenhower, Obama. You know, they always go for all key positions, and especially military, police, or secret service in this case. You know, it's always the same. And I already, I've already proven this to you. So what if Cheadle, being assumably by many the enemy of Trump, that in fact she is the opposite and assumably an accomplice of Trump with a shared Swiss ancestry and her enabling the theatrical attack without blood by freeing the shooter's rooftop from any potential witnesses. So here you see Trump holding the pyramid with the all-seeing eye of Horus on the dollar. Here you see the cheat. And here they are controlling the world in a theater, like, you know, with a... And here it says, the elites always know each other somehow from somewhere. So she's from the elite Hinsdale, one of the most wealthiest suburbs, places in America. He's one of the most wealthiest men in America. And you're not going to tell me they didn't meet somehow and somewhere, eh? The elites, they always know each other from somehow and from somewhere. This is just the way it is. So here in the next picture, we see Chicago in uh, Illinois, all this. Here is Hinsdale. And 10 miles down the road is the Swiss Naperville. And here is the cheat coming from Hinsdale. Yeah. And what do I see next to it? Lagrange. And... Freemasons, they use Lagrange a lot for a Freemason lodge or some secret place uh, to meet. Funny, eh? Just next to one of the most wealthiest places in America. Lagrange next to Hinsdale. Well, what is it? Like two kilometers down the road or something. And let me tell you, Lagrange is the name of the castle of the Marquis Lafayette. De Lafayette. And I went filming it for you. It must be somewhere on this channel or one of my other channels. Maybe some of you remember it. So, you know, the French Revolution was exported by the French nobility into the Americas. And that's why the name Lagrange is here. So there's probably a lot of things to see there. You know? So the Swiss Naperville with next to it Kimberly Cheetel's Hinsdale are wealthy suburbs of Chicago. And what do we find in Chicago? Yes, the Trump Tower of Chicago. It says Trump International Hotel and Tower in Chicago. Yeah, there it is. Okay, we can have a look a little bit. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of pictures of it here. 
Yeah, it says Trump, Trump, Trump. And so this is next to uh, Hinsdale, the very rich, very wealthy Hinsdale. You, you still, you really think that the Cheetle and Trump, that they never met? Really? Really? You really believe this? And is there a golf club next to the Trump Tower in Kimberly Cheetle's Hinsdale, where they possibly could have met? Yes, there is. And just look at its pyramid logo of the Hinsdale Golf Club, with the sun on top representing Horus, reminding us of the $1 logo, also with Horus, his all-seeing eye, and the concept of three and four, with a triangle for the three and the square in the H for the four altogether, saying square and compass so here you can see this one here the logo is the same one as this here which uh donny is holding here very tightly he doesn't want to lose it you see and here is the all-seeing eye of horus and horus is uh mostly also uh, represented by the sun which is uh, symbolized by the golf ball here exactly at the same pl same place as this one here the triangle is the concept of three for the three corners or the three sides, which represents the uh, the compass, which I explained in some of my videos. I'm not going to do it here. And here's the square. And the square has uh, four corners or four sides, which, uh, well, the square is the square. So in the logo, it says square and compass. And exactly the same thing here as on the dollar. And it says the Hinsdale Golf Club right next to the Trump Towers and Hinsdale, where uh, the Cheats is from. So you, you're not going to tell me they never met. I, please don't. And by the way, any psychiatrist would define a person who needs to write his name on anything as here on the Trump Tower, saying Trump in extreme big letters, as being a person suffering from a severe minority complex combined with heavy paranoia being afraid to lose something when not the name proving the ownership and this minority complex and pathology was most likely established during chronical youth traumas over an extended period of time this is not something that normal people do to write one's name on about everywhere so he's you see him holding his money here and here it says in big letters trump as he does everywhere this is inhibited pathology as any psychiatrist would call it so to solve a crime or conspiracy it usually says to follow the money trail and as we can see it would be a wise idea to follow the golf trail as well and see into what dark hole the golf ball finally ends up so here it says follow the golf trail here you see the occult logo. Here there's some funny business going on. I follow the golf trail, Hinsdale Golf. I'll show you the slow-mo footage of the alleged attack without blood once more.
And why do you think Trumpy Boy is always doing this here? Showing first three fingers for the concept of three and the compass, and then four fingers for the concept of four and square, which is a Freemason sign saying square and compass, which I've already explained you in many of my videos, how the Freemasons use the concepts of three and four, and how that came to place. Concept of three, concept of four. Compass, square, compass, square. Square and compass. It's 100% it's Freemasonry. This is what JFK K warned us for, secret societies. And it's not only Trump. There's also Biden, Putin, and Macron here, who are all of Pharaoh's nobility just as Donald Trump is. It's all the same bunch. It's not ver worth voting, or any one of them. <laughs> 